always had this sense of an outrage with unfairness and uh, inequality. The first time I met Butch was actually at one of our events at the Shine Bombs. And they were so gracious to give us that space to gather people in the community, like Butch, to learn about this new thing called human trafficking. It was a time in Los Angeles and in the country, and frankly, all over the world, where people actually didn't even know what human trafficking was yet. And I'll never forget how taken he was at our model of not only providing services to survivors, but truly empowering them to become change agents. And still today, this is a program that's near and dear to Butch's heart. Cass, from the time a person is or liberated, enriches lives like the organization I, I know of. It's why Cass received the medallion from President Obama. If you are privileged to get to be friends with Butch, one of the things that you realize is that Butch himself is a survivor. So his loyalty and devotion to people who have suffered and survived is immense. I can assure you all that within 10 miles of where we're sitting, uh, there are people that are enslaved and trafficked. You know, because CAST, our mission is about being survivor-centered. It's very much aligned with Butch and his way of being heart-centered. Wherever he turns, if there's someone in need or there's some kind of suffering that's visible to him, without a thought, his response is, what can we do to help these children? What can we do to help these people in trouble? In giving Butch the Founders Award, it is so perfect because I know for sure that the Founders would be so proud of the work he's done for CAST and most importantly, how he puts survivors front and center in our mission. When I'm blessed to be around Posse, around Seagay, around Ema, and all the wonderful people that I'm blessed to be with at the shelter, it's the biggest income my heart ever gets.